So I'm making this video because I don't want you guys to make the same mistake that I did. If you've seen my previous videos, whenever I did compression test, I always use this uh, Chinese compression tester that I got off Amazon. I paid like $15 or so for it. I figured, what the heck, it's a compression tester, right? It should, it should work fine. That's not the case. Because if you've seen my previous compression test reading, they've been low, like 65 here, 75 here, maybe a 90 here. And one day I got to thinking, I'm like, maybe I should do some more research on this specific uh, compression tester. And the more, the more research I did, uh, the more I was like, you know what, I better get a more expensive one. Because this one, come here, Stella. This one does not have the Schrader valve that these small engines need. So for small engines, it doesn't give a, uh, an accurate reading. These are probably good for like automobiles and bigger engines, but not small engines. So what I did was I went online and I got the Minivac compression tester. Uh, I've heard nothing but good reviews on it. So what I want to do is I want to test the tube on this uh, Husqvarna chainsaw that I just got. And I have the spark plug on, so I want to show you that it has really good compression. As you see, it's got good compression, right? All right, so what I want to do is I want to compare the two. Uh, so let's get the Chinese one on here first. All right, let me make sure it's okay. Looks like we're at about 80, about 80 PSIs on this one. And I know damn well it has more than that. So let's hook up the Mighty back to it. Not saying these cheap Chinese ones aren't good, but they're not good for small engines. They're not gonna give you an accurate reading. Got the Mighty back hooked up here. Zero. All right. Okay. We are at one ten, one twenty, about one twenty five, which is good. That's about what I think it has. So. The difference between this one and that one is this one has a Schrader valve. Don't know the exact science behind it. Maybe somebody can explain in the comments below. But for a small engine, you want that straighter valve. Um, so there you have it. If you're going to get a compression tester for your small engines, I recommend this Mighty Vac. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, hopefully you won't make the same mistake that I did. See you in the next one.